Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas Free. I am filming this as a little birthday weekend so I'm going to be sharing with you what I am getting up to. I did show some quick clips of mum and I decorating the table last night. We as a household are going to do a little fancy dining uh, just to make the most out of it. Um, we're not really bothered about going out for dinner because we can really only go in your household and my dad not gonna lie my dad is a fabulous cook um so he's cooking an incredible paella and he always like overdoes it and it's amazing so we're gonna do a paella champagne and a slice of cake which literally to me just sounds perfect with my household and yeah it's gonna be really lovely and we're just gonna make the most out of it um it's so cold outside as well so i don't really want to get dressed up to go out um but i'm still gonna dress up i'm still gonna make an effort laurie and i are actually going to go to brighton today i did have a shoot um which was like very like last minute and a quick turnaround however they haven't arrived or been delivered so yeah that messed up my plans for that um but hey ho onwards and upwards i can go and drink champagne for lunch which you know if you know me that's actually absolutely a-okay so i've just got myself ready um i just did some like pilates this morning i did lottie murphy she's really good she's doing this like um kind of like an advent calendar on youtube like one party episode a day so that was quite fun um and yeah i had a bit of a lion i mean half seven not really a lion for a lot of people but for me it's not six o'clock in the morning so that was nice just like really slow I've just got myself ready it's nine o'clock so i'm gonna go make some breakfast i am being very brave i haven't got any um tights on one's leg because i'm gonna be wearing long boots so i'm hoping that'll be fine and a big fluffy coat uh so yeah so hopefully I want to do a little bit of Christmas shopping, just like to get in the festive mood. I'll take you along with me and hopefully, hopefully get into Rhythm and Finn, which is my favourite fish restaurant ever, honestly. It's beautiful. I'll take you along. Hopefully we'll get in. Um, they just said to do a walk-in, so that's what we'll do. Um, and it's around like all the pretty lanes, so if we have to wait, we have to wait. So it's okay um but yeah can't wait to show you and yeah let's go and see the downstairs kind of like a little bit more of the final decoration so yeah how pretty does this look at night time it looks so sweet we actually got these bunting um when it was my my brother's birthday and we just kept them because they're just so sweet and just look really pretty and then mum got this like foliage uh, like this golden um kind of like banister hanging i really don't know what it's called um from i think it was like we went to chelsea and it was in the chelsea gardens and they just had them hanging and i think they were actually quite reasonable in price then we have this lovely christmas tree so we have like a proper gold theme going on we also have these decorations from my brother's previous um previous what's it called previous birthday my little baby neo i painted her painted this picture at an event um and this is when Neo was a puppy sadly Neo has it's nearly a year since Neo passed away unfortunately we had to put her down because she was super super poorly oh my god I'm gonna get emotional I can't do this um but yeah so this foliage just goes everywhere so that's an example of how it looks like kind of like on a banister but yeah we got these from Amazon um I will leave them down below but just really pretty and i've just kind of hanged them like that so it's a bit of a disco and i've put them here as well so we're proper going out for my birthday even though it's just us lot and yeah here we go that's our little table we've left the rest of the table for the food but yeah and then we're gonna have plates on them and it just looks so cute how cute how pretty are these these are from my absolute favorite florist her name is apple min i'll leave it down below she is sussex based and she does the most beautifulest flowers ever they're so pretty oh it's my birthday if you can see this 
<laughs> my hole is so small, but my mum has just got me some big balloons. Oh. No way. Okay, so let's take them from the top. This is hilarious. That's why. <laughs> Honestly, I've got to show you how big it is. It's actually ridiculous. It's so cute. Look. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm 21 again. I'll take it. <laughs> I am so extra when it comes to my birthday and I love that my parents accept that and just go crazy about it. I mean, they're the ones who brought me up like this. So, what do you expect? Yay! Wait, are they upside down? Oh, I've done the five the wrong way around. Yeah! Outfit of the day. I told you my legs are bare, but I've got a knitted jumper on. I've got a coat covered and I've got my like latexy. Um, shiny boots on so patent that's the word so I feel like I will be okay and I've got a scarf on I actually apparently it's going to rain um, so I might bring my brown fluffy cat is that too much I mean I've, I quite like it it's so soft I've got a black one of these excuse the creaky floorboards um, but yeah I've got a black one of those but I just thought I'd go a little bit of colour because literally I live in black today, from day to day um, and as it's kind of like my birthday weekend I thought I would put on a bit of colour and I really like it, I feel very zhuzhy uh, it's going to chuck it down I think <laughs> um, so I brought an umbrella, I brought my fluffy hat I'm super snug, this is from Holland & Cooper Holland & Cooper do the best scarves, I have it in black and brown and I am just absolutely smitten the quality is just like just incredible Holland & Cooper is an English um, company and they are made in England as well so really good incredible quality and also England so if you're from England go and support them they're incredible um so yeah so a really nice like white and brown tonal outfit for very festive and then just touches of black I'm wearing my Chloe bag as usual and yeah like I said my black boots and yeah on my lips today I have got the Laura Mercier New Delicat I think is that um and I'm really liking it it's like a really nice like dark berry colour it's got a little touch of purple in it oh my god I sound like my nan my nan literally has to wear purple everything um but yeah I am off to Brighton with Loz I can't believe my mum got me those flowers balloons <laughs> I look like I'm having like a massive smash up, but I'm not, like literally it's going to be my household, which is obviously still going to be lovely, but it wasn't in the um, the plans. I had two sets of plans for this weekend. The first one, um, last year, if you've been following me for that long, we went to Bruges for the whole weekend and um, it was incredible, I went with my family. Um, and then this year my granddad loved it so much he wanted to take us to like we obviously paid to go but he was like we want to go to like he wanted to go to France so we were going to do that like go to France for the weekend like I've seen France when in August like so many people went to France because it was kind of like the easiest place to go in the circumstances and I just feel like I was just experiencing France in a whole different way I was so like I want to go and especially when we said about Christmas we were like that would be incredible but obviously with everything that's gone on we decided it probably wasn't the best idea i mean we would have literally just made it but it so stressful then i was supposed to be going to london i booked a whole weekend in london like staying in a hotel in sloan square like the sloan square is my like, absolute one of my favorite places um i might move there i might i mean maybe that's where i next move to i'm moving to clapham but that's like my next, like my favourite place I would adore to live would be Sloan Square or like the South Ken. That would be my dream. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I had booked to stay there and then on today, so on the 5th, me and my girls and Laurie were going to go out for dinner and drinks. Laurie and I were going to stay in a hotel and then meet my family for, at the Ivy in Sloan Square because it's a beautiful Chelsea Ivy there. Um, but yeah, that all got cancelled because obviously with like 
you can't mix households or anything like that. So we've decided to do like a really lovely dinner tonight, like super chilled but super bougie and just a little bit more fancier than usual. Um, and I'm actually really excited. And then the plan tomorrow on my actual birthday is all I want to do is eat cake and watch the holiday. That's all I want to do. I have saved myself from watching the holiday uh, until my birthday. And I'm so proud of myself. Usually I've already watched it end of October. Um, it's just my absolute favourite. I'm just so proud of myself. Like, I have something to look forward to and I cannot wait. I'll probably be really hungover and fall asleep watching it, but I don't care. It's my birthday. <sighs> I can't wait. <laughs> and a little broccoli. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello guys. So my hair is all puffy from I got hat hair. Lars is still in his mask. We actually ended up wearing our masks the whole day because it was so cold outside, wasn't it, Loz? It was freezing. Um, but yeah, so we went for a lovely lunch at Riddle and Finn. I had this like spicy crab, which was so messy. <laughs> I picked the messiest thing on the menu, but it was delicious. And we had sashimi. Loz had the seafood linguine. Um, but yeah, it was really nice. Had a couple glasses of bubbles. Loz has got a little spike in his stomach. Um, we were just saying this earlier that he had this when we went to this last seafood restaurant so wondering if it's like it's it's definitely like a spike in pain like an intolerance because that's what he used to get with wheat um but we definitely know it's not wheat so we're just wondering what it is um so we wonder if actually he might be allergic to some sort of shellfish or normal fish god forbid god forbid where so where were we when we last went for fish that was at the hotel it was like in the, in the basement restaurant. Was that the ones in the shells? I was telling you earlier about Those, edible razor clam. Razor, yeah, the tubes. Yeah, razor shells. So I want, yeah, I wonder if it is that. And then you but did- I didn't have razor clams today. But we're gonna have clams tonight, so maybe avoid clams. Maybe you're allergic to clams. I can't be, I love tayinas, which is clams. <laughs> I love tayinas. Tayinas are so good. Oh, and that's the little, the baby Mediterranean clams you have in Spain. So good, yeah, like, so my dad went to Waitrose yesterday and he went to go and get um, mussels and they were like, we're all out, but like, he was like, these clams are incredible. And we got the clams and instead of mussels. What, what kind of clams? I don't know what clams they are. I didn't know there was different types like oysters as well. Come on, Amelia. You know better than that. They're not the caesars. What? <laughs> what? You mean tahinas. Tahinas. Um, but yeah, so we're we're kind of like, we're going to watch that then. Because that's definitely an intolerance pain. I think it's blowing out its proportion and it's just coffee mixed with fish. Yeah, Laurie thought it was a good idea to have coffee straight after champagne. Uh, Laurie only had a, one glass of champagne, just to bear in mind whilst he's driving. Um, well, hours ago anyway. Yeah, but still, still. Um, but then he decided we should have coffee straight after, which probably wasn't a great idea on a, like, a stomach, which is like, digesting. Yeah, literally. Um, should I go right or left? I suppose it doesn't matter, does it? I would go, I would usually go right because oh, really? then it's quicker because otherwise you have to go back up Dyke Road and Dyke Road's quite busy at this time as well. Where this you cut out quite a lot even though it's a little bit driving. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, and then we went to Sainsbury's. We moached around some shops for a bit um, but then we went to Sainsbury's and got some champagne. Just some. We ended up getting a Magnum. Is it called Magnum? Surely not. It's not that big. It is a Magnum, no? No, it's quite big but it's not that big. Um, but, oh, fine, well, we got a big, big bottle, and then we got two small bottles of champers because, I mean, if we don't drink it, like, there was some good deals on, like, I think they had, like, 10% off, 20% off, because usually it was, like, £45 for a bottle, and it was £30, so that was really good. Are you doing quick maths right now? That's a third off. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. But anyway, that is a third off. we got a <laughs> lot of a third off. we got a lot of champagne, but um yeah, now we're gonna head home and chill. My mum and dad are at work, so we're just gonna wait for them to come home and yeah, zhuzh ourselves up because why not? So yeah, so I will probably show you nothing until then.
Hello guys, it is now my birthday, yay! <laughs> yay! He's so aesthetic. <laughs> Um, finally, like, I feel like within this uh, like birthday vlogmas, I've been leading you guys up to finally it being my birthday. But it is now the day, 6th of Sunday, no, 6th of December, on the Sunday. Um, we had a really lovely night last night. Feeling all a bit fragile, so we are going for a big walk. Um, it's quite fresh as well. And then we're gonna head home, put the fire on, eat some cake and watch the holiday that's literally all the plans I wanted for today just like chill um, but yeah we had a really nice night we had champagne paella bit of cake then um, so yeah super lovely chilled birthday which was so lovely Loz got me some lovely presents I'm wearing wearing both of them now actually have I got a fog on the screen I got these lovely Daphne little earrings and like a, I don't think I can see it there, you can see it. A Monica Veneda bangle, which was very lovely. Of Lorenzo, so thank you very much, Petal. You're welcome, Petal. But yeah, so we are walking home now because it's super cold and we're super tired, aren't we? You're not actually feeling that bad, are you? I'm right, fresh daisy. I think I am, I'm just tired. Like, you know when you're like, you're over the like head headache and stuff like that, you're just a bit, you just want to eat cake, mm -hmm. sit by the fire. Yes, yes I do. Nail to the tree. 